Hello everybody, today I got another upgrade video for you. We're going to be doing the PCB cover for the LCD screen on the Ender 3 Pro. So I got over to Thingiverse. This one is by Rocco81-92. So we're just going to download this file from him. After the download is complete, we're going to extract it. So once that file is extracted, we're going to go into here, Files. And the one I'm going to use today is the Ender 3 Display Cover Factory Screws with Bell Closed 3 Connectors is the one I want. Um, I'm going to bring that over to my slicer. Uh, I'm using Ultimaker Cura. You can use whatever you want. Once I drop that in there, uh, we're just going to do a quick look at it. Um, you can see that it has the opening for the bell. I'm going to print that at 0.12 resolution. I'm going to leave it at 50% infill, and then I'm going to slice it. This uh, print will take about 5 hours, 50 minutes, so roughly 6 hours. And uh, we're going to save that to our file. I'm going to keep that the same name. Uh, transfer that over to the SD card, and we're going to print it. I did want to quickly mention that I did not use any supports on this print. There is a little bit of overhang where the connectors come through, but I did not have any issues with those. If you do choose to use supports, that will work as well. Okay, so now that we got the uh, PCB cover uh, printed off, we're going to start by pulling it off the bed. Oh, I love this flexible mat. It just makes um, print removal so so effortlessly um yeah and uh there it is not too bad um it's a nice simple printed part and to install it all we have to do is uh take this off the two screws right here we're gonna unplug this ribbon cable on here. I'm just going to take out these four screws on the, uh, the PCB. We'll be reusing these screws to mount the cover on. It should be pretty easy. Last screw is out and we don't even have to take this off. So we kind of want to keep it in place. Uh, this cover is actually just going to slide right over everything. Like so. And then we're going to put the screws right back in. <laughs> So there it is, all mounted up, looking nice. Um, kind of got a black and red theme going with this, but uh, it covers up that PCB really nice. It still leaves all these exposed. So uh, the next step is, is just to plug everything back in and um, screw the uh, panel back into place so we're going to do that right now so there it was overall that was a pretty simple upgrade uh not too much issue it doesn't really affect the performance of it but it does clean it up make it a little bit nice and protect that pcb from uh any damage and all you have to do is make sure everything is still working and it fires right up so thank you for watching and uh, if you enjoyed that, I'll be going through more upgrades on my Ender 3. And uh, we'll run some fun prints soon, I promise. Uh, until next time, I'll see you later.